This conference will now be recorded. So GUI stands for what? Graphical user interface. And the main use of going for GUI is in GUI applications, the user can, the user will give input using widgets. Here we use the technology widgets. Like text fields, radio buttons, check boxes, etc. So whenever you want to go for this GUI in Python, we have to make use of a module called as TK Enter module. TK Enter module is used to create GUI applications. Which module we have to use? TK Enter. Okay. Then, so what is GUI? We have to create a frame. What is a frame here? A window. A window we have to create and in that window we should add the widgets. So first of all, let us see how to create a window. Creating a window or even some people say frame. So for this one, let us go with the program GUI demo dot demo so whenever you want to make use of python gui which which module we have to import import tk inter right then only we can use develop the gui applications then now we have to create a top variable and we have to see here tk inter dot tk Okay, which creates a window. When I say tk enter dot tk, whenever you call this function, it creates a window. So whenever it creates a window, once it creates a window, what we have to do, we, are, we if you want to give some name to the window, you can give it. So how to give the name is by using this top, where it's a title. I'm giving my window. I'm going with the name my window for your frame or window then now we have to give the size for your window how to give the size here is by using top dot geometry and i'm going with 400 by 400 top dot geometry 400 by 400 means 400 pixel by 400 pixel then then after that, we have to call the method top dot main loop. Top dot main loop. So that it will be shown on our screen. So, so let me run this. See, here? it's going to create a window. And what's the name? My window. And up size for 400 by 400. So once we create this window, then we can add the widgets in this window. Clear, Dheeraj? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And just to close in this. Then let us move to the next one. Like how to add the widgets. How to add the widgets onto the window. So inserting widgets onto the frame window. For this one, let us go with the diagram. What widgets we are going to add onto the frame? Therefore, diagram GUI widgets.
so let us create a frame here a window with a design so this is the frame what you want to create where you can find here the minimize button and the cross button and the maximize button are restored then I want to give the title here as my frame then here I want to go with the label label like name label means what an information to the user and after name we want to go with the text field one to go with the text field next one I want to go with password then a password field what is the difference between text field and password field the characters what you type will be hidden here then address so we want to type address in a text area text area means it's also a text which goes with the rows and columns, multiple lines of text. Then skills. Skills. Where you want to go with the skills like C, C, Python. So where we want to go with the checkboxes here. We want to create a checkboxes. The gender. Gender. Like male, female. So with the radio button. So what is the difference between checkbox and radio? Um, it's what is the difference? Multiple. Checkbox and radio? Single checkbox, single. multiple selection, right? And radio, single selection. Okay. And finally, a submit button. So let us design this frame now. Got it? What we are going to do? Yeah. Right. Let us design this GUI screen. So for this, let us write the code. So you can select from TK enter import star means everything. So I need not refer every time. you are able to hear me right yeah yeah so when I see from take enter import star means what is advantage I need not refer to this take enter every time okay mm -hmm. I need not refer the module name to call the methods that's the advantage of writing from take enter import star the first step is what we have to create a top window so just to call take a 
then give the title top dot title we'll say my frame then go with the geometry where i'm going with size 400 by 400 When you say L1 equal to label, top, where we are inserting to the top frame and the name of the label is what name. Then now we have to place it. We have to place that label in your frame. So we have to give the positions like L1 dot place and the positions is X coordinate is 10 and Y coordinate is for 10 here, the coordinates. Then say, then we have to say, at the end, top dot main loop. Run it up to here. Here it will go with the frame and see the x coordinate is 10 and y coordinate is 10 here. So it will going to place name over here. It's going to place name. Then what is the next one we have to place? After name, we have to place your text field. So whenever you want to place a text field, then we call it as entry even equal to we have to use the class entry then entry should be added to top and we want to go with the border as two pixel and width as 10 pixel then we have to place this even even dot place everything place is important here even dot place this is the complex part x is 80 and y is 10 means y means like a row what is this x is column and y is what a row so this label name and text will should be placed in the same row right Thiraj? yeah after name only yeah. text will should come so y is your row so row is same y equal to 10 y equal to 10 but the, col the column should change here. So x equal to 18. See here now, when you run this. See here, after name, we get a text field where we can add the text here. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. The width of the text field is 10 pixel. Means how many you want, you can type, but visibility is 10 pixel here. Got it? Yeah. yeah. So this placing is only very complex part here. Now, next one, label 2 equal to label to the top and text is password. Text is password and L2 dot place. So, where x is 10 means the column is 10, but 
row we have to change it to 40. So next row we have to go to next row. So we are making it as 40. Then A2 entry, entry, top, show as star. What is the meaning of show as star? When you are typing, what you want to show in place of characters, then border equal to 2 and width equal to 10. Width equal to 10. 10. This part, password should be placed where? E2 dot place. X coordinate is 80. And Y coordinate is same row 40. Now see the result. So it will go with the password. In the next row that is I am giving that one as 5, 40. And the column is what? Same 10. And what about password field? X is 80 and the row is same 40. Got it? The pl placement. Yeah. And when you are typing the password, it will go with hidden characters. Okay. okay. Then, next one, address. So L3 equal to label. Label where you are adding to the top and text is address. Then place it. L3 dot place. X is 10 and Y is 70. Then next one A3. Text here we have to use text top for uh, address fields. We have to say text top height equal to 4 width equal to some 30. Then place this e3 dot place x equal to 80 and y is 70. The next one l4 I'm going with all the things now label top text equal to skills then l4 dot place x as 10 and y is 150. Then check box 1 equal to check button. Check button to the top and text is C. B small check button. And top text is what C. I am creating a check box with the text C. And CB1 dot place. X is 120 and Y is 150. Next one, you can create multiple checkboxes. So next to checkbox is C++ and where we have to place this? X, equals X to is 120. X150. So for this, we'll go with 80. Let us start up with 80. And the next one is uh, 120. And the next one here, Python. Let us go with 190. Depends what some random analysis I'm doing. See here. Let me run up again. Let us see whether it comes properly. Spelling is wrong. See here. Yeah. So C, C, Python. So for C, we can move some more. 130, let us see. Okay. Now it is looking good, right? Next one, let us go with the label L5, label, top and text is gender, then L5 dot place, 
x is 10 and y is 180 then r equal to int variable and discuss what is this int variable then rb1 radio radio button 1 so we have to use your radio button to the top text is mail text is mail variable equal to r and value equal to 1 value equal to 1 means selected <coughs> then rb1 dot place x equal to 18 and y equal to 180 then similar way create one more radio button rb to equal to radio button to the top text is female variable equal to r variable equal to r and value equal to 2 value equal to 2 rb2 dot place x is 150 and y is 180. Yes. Let me run up to here. See here we are getting two radio buttons. See here when you go for radio button it is single selection only. So in a whereas checkbox is multiple selection. In a frame will you have only this set of radio buttons? Will you have some other radio buttons also? Mm -hmm. We may have some other radio buttons also like yeah. So in this group, yeah. this is a group. In this group, I want to select one. So you may you may have some other place, some other radio buttons also. So this is another group. So how to know that it is one group here by using the variable. So when you are referring to the same variable name, then they, they will form a group here. That's the reason we have created a variable over here. So why we have created a variable? So that whenever you create radio button, we have to inform that these two radio buttons belongs to the same reference. Same reference. How to inform? by using the variable name and the value internal value for this male radio button is one and the internal value for female radio button is two got it which one we have selected we can know by taking the value of it clear Diraj? yes yes why we are going for variable the main concept is variable why we are going for variable when i use the same variable that means these two radio buttons belongs to one group so when i say group among that group, I can select only one value, one selection only. That's the meaning. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next one. The last one is what here? Button. Button equal to, we have to use the class button. Add it to top and the text is submit. And place this button dot place. X coordinate is. 170 and y coordinate is some 220. Okay. Run this code now. So where we get a submit button. Got it? Where the user can type some name, some password, some address, and you can make a check mark to skills and gender only single selection and one submit button. So when you click on submit, anything happening? No. No, no right? So for that, we should add the event now. Okay? okay. So when I click on submit, something, some code should get executed. Some behind the code should get executed. So that is that is called as event handling. So this is the major part. So we have learned how to create a window, how to add the widgets onto the window. In the last concept, what we have to do, we should know how to add the events. When I click on submit, something should get generated. Some action should get some action need to be performed. Clear the rich? What is the meaning of events? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So for that, let us go with the next one. Event handling. Refer diagram event handling dot p. So what event we want to do, let us understand. So in this one, we will go with a frame where we will accept three marks from the user. 
in this one will go with a frame where we are going to accept three marks from using. I'll say the name here as total marks, the window name. Then here we'll accept mark one. Then we'll go with mark two. Then we'll accept mark three. And we'll go with one more total marks. And one more button, a submit button, calculate total. Calculate total. So where do we go with the text fields here for mark one, mark two, mark three, and even for total marks. And a button, calculate total. Let us suppose if you are filling the marks here, 55, 66, and 77. When you click on this calculate total means you are generating an event. When you click on this calculate total that we should add these three marks 55 plus 66 plus 77 and the total mark should come over here. You should place the total marks here. Clear the rich, the meaning of events, the calculations. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So this code we are going to write now. So refer program event handling dot p. Event handling dot p by the no. What is the purpose here to find total marks? Then import the module. How to import from TK Inter import star. Then now first of all we have to create a frame top equal to TK. So which makes a frame. Then give the title top dot title. What's the title here? Total marks. Then go with the geometry. I'll say 200 by 200. Then now create a label L1 equal to label. We should get added top. Then the text of your label is mark one. Mark one. Then I'm going to use a grid here. If you observe the diagram here, here how many rows and how many columns here? Two. Two. two rows, right? Two columns. These are your columns. These are your columns. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And these are your rows. Yes. Right? It's forming like a grid, right here? Yeah. When it's yeah. like a grid, we can make use of grid concept here. So where when I go for grid, placing the uh, entries will become easy for us. Placing the widgets will become easy for us. Okay. So I'm going to apply the concept of grid over here. So how to go for grid? L1 dot grid. L1 dot grid. Where I'm going with the row as zero and column is one. Sorry, column also zero. So I'm placing this mark one weight in row zero and column zero. The row number starts with zero, one, two, three. Row zero means row one only internally for us. The first row. Okay. So row zero, column zero. So this one is what here? This mark one is row zero and column is also zero. Means for us row one, column one. Got it, Tiraj? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Then. Now once you place it, then we have to say next one. M1 
equal to that is mark one entry when you go for entry it's a text field where i should add top okay then where i should place mark one mark one dot great row is what zero right same row where your label is present mark one is present in the same row but column should be one year column is one so where you are placing same row this text field should come in same row so this is your row zero row zero and row zero and this one is column zero and this one is what column one column one this is row one row two row three got it yep clear yep. so where i should place text field now mark one text field in row zero and column one yeah so row zero column one got it yeah yeah then next one L2 equal to label top text equal to mark 2 text equal to mark 2 and L2 dot great row row should become what now 1 row 1 column 0 only got it yeah yeah the label should come in 0th column and row is 1 then next one m2 equal to entry top then where to place m2 now m2 dot grade where we have to place row mm. one column one. column, column one. one very good column one then l3 label top comma text equal to mark three L3 dot great. Now we should go to row 2, but column 0. Column is 0 and M3 equal to entry of top. Then M3 dot great. Row 2. Column 1. Column 1. Next one, L4 equal to label top text equal to total marks. Total marks L4 dot grade row equal to 3, column equal to 0. Then TOT equal to the variable I am taking TO to entry of top. And where we have to place tot dot grid row is three column is one clear now the frame is ready here we have to say top dot menu Now we get a frame C. Mark 1, mark 2, mark 3 total. Got it, Diraj? Yeah. Yeah. Right? No. So instead of uh, geometry. Instead of uh, geometry. Yeah. Geometry is for size. Yeah. We have given the geometry already. The size we have given. But instead of the placements, the columns and rows, instead of placements, I am going with grid here. Instead yeah. of place. Place means yeah. we have to go with the pixel format. Pixel managing pixels is something complex, but managing rows and columns is something easy for us. Yeah. Zero one. We have to yeah. remember only zero one, one, two, like that only. So this is easy for us. Now, now the next step is we have to define. We have to define a function. Define calculate total. Calculate total. Then tot dot delete. Why I'm saying delete? I will discuss zero comma end. So to 
clear to clear the text in entry there. why i am writing like delete i'll info, i'll discuss then i am taking a total equal to int m1 dot get what's the use of get here m1 dot get it will what are the value you enter in text field when that value it will take this value that is 55 this what is the name we have given m1 m1 dot get will take the value of your text field clear what is the need of this one get function yeah yeah right and it what is the value we enter in text field it's a part of string type but i should convert into integer because we are using for processing so how to convert into integer by using integer function type conversion function similar way in m2 dot get there in m3 dot get so we are taking the value of m1 m2 and m3 and we are placing into total and this total value should get inserted where into the total field this one into this total entry that total value should get placed so how to place it tot dot insert what's the name we have given for the entry tot so tot dot insert zero comma total zero comma total so this is the function what we are doing by using calculate total then once you define the function calculate total now when i click on the button calculate total this function should get executed so i am going with a calculate button equal to button how to create a button button where i should place stop text is calculate total and very important one command command equal to calculate total command equal to calculate total means command means what when you click on the button which function should get executed that concept i'm writing here this is your event this is called as your event clear there yeah yeah right how to go for event just to say command and call the function that's it then it will go to the function the code in the function will get executed then say calculate button dot great where at to place row is five and column zero and column span column span is two then run this code now See here, column span equal to 2 means it will go with the spaces here. That's meaning of column span as 2. Got it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now enter the marks 55, 66, and 77. When you click on the button calculate total, we get the total marks here. Again, if I go here, if I change the marks here, so 77, 55, and some other value. 45 then if i say calculate total we'll get 177 now if i remove this if i remove this first line tot dot delete if i remove this now see the result here when you run i'm saying 55 66 77 when once is the calculate total you got 198 again i'm changing the marks 45 66 and 33 again when you this a calculate total see that 144 will be appended here it will shift this 198 and appends here that is not good right yeah yeah so whenever i click on calculate total this field should get empty so how to make it empty now by using this tot dot delete tot dot delete the content of that one we are making it as zero till end means total content we are removing so so that it won't append to the previous content that's the need of this 24 line clear the yeah yeah right so got some basic idea of how to go for this gui yes 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 sir. right we use very rare cases the gui part in our industry because nowadays everything is web applications right yeah 
Yeah. Nowadays, we are not finding this standalone at all, but nowadays everything is web application means the GUI we are designing by using HTML. So when you are learning G uh, web applications using Python, you will be learning that HTML part also. Okay, Dheeraj, if you are entering towards that side, web application oh. side, web oh. technologies, okay? <coughs> right? Oh. So that's about our GUI part. And uh, since you said you are not having idea of MySQL, so tomorrow I'm going to brief you about MySQL first, then after tomorrow we'll see how to connect from our Python to MySQL. Okay, okay. two more days. Okay. Right? Yeah. So thank you, Dheeraj, and uh, see you tomorrow uh, okay. with MySQL. First. Okay. 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 Thank you.